Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann, and today we are checking out Dungeons of Aether. Now, Dungeons of Aether, if the word of Aether rings a bell, it's because this is the same developer that made uh, uh, Rivals of Aether, which is a long-running smash clone, a platform brawler. And I know that Rivals of Aether 2 was recently announced, uh, and maybe is out, I don't know, I don't know what time is anymore, but they are also making and releasing a game called Dungeons of Aether, and it comes out very, very soon. When does this actually release? It releases on the 28th of February, which I think is today, at least in terms of when this video is going live, so this is probably available for you to play right now. Um, and it's a turn-based RPG set within the Rivals of Aether universe. I don't really know anything else beyond that, uh, so we're just gonna just jump right into it. We're gonna start with this developer preview, uh, from April 1st of 2021, we got the launch date reveal, the release date update, and then the story trailer. The story trailer just came out on February 21st. So, let's go. That's the end of the video. Try again. D d uh, yeah. Self-insult. Hi. Hi. Dan and I'm excited to share some new information <laughs> about an upcoming game from our team. Thank you for saying how your name is pronounced, because I would have gotten it wrong. Led by Nick, aka Ampersand Bear. We also have Flashy Goodness's team, Rezoforce, handling the music and sound effects. The characters are being designed by Andy Ayala, with help from Mark Nelson. Finally, we have Ian Flynn doing the narrative design for the story mode in this game. Fun. Dungeons of Aether is a roguelike dungeon crawler designed by Nick. The first iteration of this combat system was created by Nick for the seven-day roguelike event in 2015. The game was called Malleus Goblin Vicarium and was one of the best-received games in the competition. Cool. The gameplay of Dungeons of Aether is an exploration-based roguelike with turn-based Cute. combat where both you and the enemy choose from a shared pool of dice. The dice allow you to react to the current turn and give yourself the best chance of winning. There is also a variety of equipment and consumables to give you the upper hand. Along with some gruelingly difficult, randomly generated dungeons, the game will feature a story mode. In this rogue light experience, you'll learn more about Jules Vale, the caverns below it, and the world of Aether. You'll also meet four new protagonists during the adventure. One of the characters to control is Artemis, an elite warrior within the Fire Mora. She's on a secret mission Love this to find a lost relic to ensure Loxodon's rise to power. Will she remain blindly loyal to the Flame Imperium, or will her quest just leave her burned? It'll be up to you to find out. These are fun animations. Look forward to 2022, where you'll get to play as Fleet, Artemis, and two other protagonists who have made their way to Julesville. Neat. Very cool. Very cool. That was a nice presentation. I like that. Okay. Uh, this is the launch date reveal. I do believe this won't have the correct date, but it should have more of the game in it. Because the next trailer is the launch date update, so it probably got ago, delayed. Before history, before legend even, there was a battle between the elemental forces of Aether and the darkness from the abyss. The fight reshaped the land and lasted for generations. The people of Aether came together, all tribes, all elements, and sealed the darkness away. They freely gave everything they had to save each other and the world. The fallen and their treasures were buried deep beneath what is now Jules Vale. Now, countless fortune hunters and adventurers dive into the mines to find wealth and excitement. I fear Pretty. they'll find a terrible darkness as well. That evil was sealed down there. Fun. Oh, <laughs> I hope that's a boss. That was awesome. Okay, it did not come out on October 25th, obviously. All right, so this is the release date update, but there's hopefully more, more footage and stuff in this game, too. I'm very interested. I'm glad to hear that, Vanishar. Nice. 
huge Shining Force vibes from this screen, which is, I love Shining Force, by the way, but continue. Bright work animation is so damn impressive to me. Just because you have to you have to do so many sprites, right? For each frame of animation is a whole new sprite. And sure, modern technology, they have like frame interpolation to like where it'll try and create sprites for you, but it's it's normally not perfect, right? We have to delay our attack until February 28th. <laughs> so cute. So cute. All right, let's do the uh, the story trailer now. Although I feel like the release date reveal kind of gave us a story trailer, but we'll see what's in here. Long, long ago, before history, before legend even, there was a battle between the elemental forces of ether and the darkness from the abyss. The fight reshaped. I'm skipping this because we already seen it. Jules Vale needs your help. So flashy. I wonder if these characters will be in Rivals of Aether 2. That would be genius, right? I mean, and it's so obvious. Like, I, I can't imagine that they won't be. But it's like, why would you not put characters that are already within your, like, universe that are from one of your games in another one of your games? Like, they're set in the same world, the same universe. That just makes sense to me. Anyway, go ahead. Oh my god, look at that big armadillo boy. Artemis, you're badass. Every game that has foxes is a good game. Fleet's adorable. Yeah, I love it. I love everything about it. That looks fantastic. That looks great. You made a great looking product. I, I hope that you get all of the sales possible. Uh, um, Dan, can you please remind me how to say your last name one more time? Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Fernacy. Thank you. Dan Fernacy, I, I've played Rivals of Aether. It was fantastic, and it looks like you're doing a fantastic job with the people that you've recruited into making this game as well. And that looks great. I'm just going to just click that right now. And I will definitely be looking forward to spending some time with that when we get, well, I mean, you know, in from the time of this recording in 34 hours, I don't think I'll be playing it in 34 hours. But price, does it say? No, it doesn't. But if we look up Rivals of Aether, I, Rivals of Aether, I don't believe has had any price changes. And Rivals of Aether released at $30, I believe. Uh, you can probably pretty easily Google and, and verify whether that's correct or not. But I, I believe it's always been $30. Uh, and so I would imagine that Dungeons of Aether is probably priced relatively similarly uh, in that relative space. Rivals of Aether 2, I don't believe... Rivals of Aether 2 has a 2024 release window. Okay, so... 
I would just guess that it's somewhere within that space. Or that for me at that point, I'm glad to hear Advantage Star. That's fantastic. This is one of the reasons I love doing this is finding games that not only I'd be interested in, but other people as well. That looks really cool. I, I love everything about that. That looks cute. It's got incredible art. It's got good music. It's got a really solid gameplay style. And I didn't know the information that Dan shared at the beginning of this video where there was a roguelike like competition and they used he brought on the guy that designed one of the most popular ones at the time which is what this is right here and obviously this is super simple right but it definitely has a unique style to it in terms of they're talking about how you have this shared dice pool and you're able to use these dice for different things i don't know enough about it right offhand but the dice have colors right and so like there's an attack dice and it's this one's red, so you can put a... F I, I wonder if you can put dice that aren't for the color. I Probably not, right? So there's a five, and you can put the five on attack. This one's orange or gold. So maybe it's like a wild card, a wild color that you can put on any of them. Because we do know that they put that attack, that six that they grabbed, on their attack. And then they, you know, we put this five on defense, which gives us eight defense. They only get one defense. The green go into... I'm, ACC, I'm guessing that's accuracy. And then, you know, obviously you resolve the turn. And so you're going to hit them for probably four. They're going to hit you for none because you have eight defense. So unless they use an item or a weapon or something, uh, the six attack isn't going to get through the eight defense. But the five attack is going to do four damage through the one defense. The speed probably dictates who goes first because it might mean that like, oh, well, you only have three HP. So I'll grab the four attack and then just make sure that I go first so that I hit you before you ever get a chance to hit me. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing out potential guesses and stuff here. Or you get a bonus for using on the right color. Absolutely. That's possible, too. Uh, I don't know. But it, it it is a unique gameplay system that I have not seen before. And that in and of itself looks cool. Uh, it also makes me want to try it. And then it helps that it has... It, it doesn't sound like it has the most unique story, but that doesn't matter. It has a serviceable story with fun-looking characters, cute artwork, and a pretty decent gameplay like approach and perspective and presentation. I'm on board for it. So that's Dungeons of Aether. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I don't believe that there's been a demo or anything for this. I think they're just... Set, full send, baby! We ain't letting you demo it. We ain't testing it. Boom, bam, send it. Uh, is it releasing in early access? I don't even think it's... This is Rivals of Aether. Here's Dungeons of Aether. It doesn't even mention anything about early access, so they're just full sending it. They're just straight up going. They're like, boom, 1.0, released, out the door. Buy it if you want it. We're going to go work on Rivals of Aether 2. Looks great. I love it. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. If you want to keep up the conversation elsewhere, two great places to do so are Discord and Twitter. Speaking of Discord, we have a channel dedicated to these reactions where you can place links of your own that we can check out together live on stream because we do stream on Twitch, and I would love to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you want to catch future videos, please subscribe to the channel. Do watch one of the other videos on the channel, or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy.